white and blue grass. The Office for Institutional Diversity will no longer exist at the University of Kentucky in its current form. Officials say its employees will transition into other offices that support the entire institution, including a new one, the Office for Community Relations. But some people are voicing concern about the decision. UK President Eli Capaluto made the announcement on Tuesday. The University of Kentucky is working to create a campus community where everyone feels welcome and supported regardless of pack background. President Capaluto says people must trust in the idea that the university is a place that values all people, but Whit Whitaker with the NAACP says remaining impartial does not necessarily allow for equity. He says some people, especially minorities, need more support and guidance to survive in a majority white environment. Whitaker says it seems as if DEI initiatives are being written off as unimportant, which he says is a step in the wrong direction. When we know the history of this country has set us back and continues to set, you know, African Americans back, poor people back, LGBTQIA plus back, instead of um, creating an opportunity where we can sit uh, as equals. Capaluto says the UK's commitment to inclusion is strong and that this is not an effort to make a job with DEI less visible on campus. So Representative Brown, I'll let you begin the conversation here. There was a lot of concern raised around these types of programs during the session. What concerns you now with this decision the UK has made? Well, first let me just say that I, I am an employee, retired employee with the University of Kentucky. I still work at, at, at the university. It is important that the university, being the, the flagship university in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, has an important role to play in terms of leveling the playing field for the citizens of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I think that we have to be very careful with DEI initiatives being dissolved or downgraded that the 20th century where a lot of things came into place and came into being as a result of legislation that has moved us forward. So I think we gotta be very careful. Representative Maddox, do you think that the office was effectively doing what it was charged to do? There was a lot of concern shown from, from GOP lawmakers in the session over this. I feel like the shared value is creating a community on campus that is welcoming to everyone and equal access to opportunities. However, I am unsurprised that UK has decided to move in the, this direction in so much as legislation had been filed. And I do think that that played a part of the reason that it is dissolving these operations. But moreover, the fact that the Supreme Court has now decided that some aspects of the DEI programs were unconstitutional at face value. So I think those two factors, combined with the fact that the legislature had been hoping to address this issue, and although we did not pass legislation last year, in all likelihood, it would be coming up again next year. I think that they have responded to that, and I am cautiously optimistic that they will create a new environment that is respectful of that Supreme Court opinion, decision, but also one that isn't just shifting it around and masking the same functions under a different name, because I have heard that. We're at a place, uh, the 21st century, that uh, it is my opinion that we've got to do some things that are, that, are, that are somewhat radical, but we have to take steps aggressively that deals with the humanness of all people in this country. The, the, the chattel slavery, the institutional slavery that happened in this country, in this state, is important for us to understand. But I think that moving away from DEI initiative, especially after affirmative action was struck down by the Supreme Court, it is important that we understand and know that we're not where we need to be. We've got a ways to go, and if we put our head in the sand, we're not going to get there. So how likely is it with UK taking this step that this kind of uh, legislation is revisited again, and, and what's that response look like? I, I think that what we have to understand is that there's a reality in the General Assembly that it did not pass in the last session, but my thought is, is that it's probably going to come back more vigorously and more aggressive in the 20. 6 to 25 session um, and, and in all probability will pass. And, and I won't be in favor of that, but the thing is is that the reality is is that it very well could pass. I think it's important to note that the intent behind these programs obviously was on track with the idea of creating a community in which there's mutual respect and um, inclusivity. However, a lot of these DEI initiatives are failed in so much as that you cannot create 
equality from inequality. And these policies in many instances were discriminatory upon their face, which is why the Supreme Court deemed that they were unconstitutional. And that's why you're seeing a myriad of other states taking similar action. And I'm hopeful that other public universities, including Northern Kentucky University, which is in my region, that they will follow suit. We've got about 20 seconds left here. Is there a better way to do it than, than what was shown? I, th I think over the years, a uh, number of things have been tried, uh, but I think it's imperative upon us as, as governments to, to try to level the playing field and to do the things that are right so that color, race, and creed does not matter, or religion. It is about doing the right things for all people. So we've got work to do. All right, I'll let you have the last word on that one. We'll have to leave it there.